Hello and welcome to Papa and Yo. Papo and Yo? Papo and Yo. Um, little bit of... Uh, okay, I'm not going to pretend I fully understand what this uh, game is about. Let's, uh... I think we can afford a little bit of music. Yeah, let's go back a little bit. Yeah, whatever. Anyways... I'm not going to fully pretend that I know what this story is about, but it has to deal with a child. I think it's a girl, or maybe it's a boy. It's hydrogenous, I'm not sure. But it has to deal with a child and a monster. And from what I understand, it has to deal with the person who created this game um, and what he had, to, what they had to deal with um, with their parents going through alcoholism. And the monster isn't always bad, but it's better if I show you. So let's start a new game. So it has to deal with alcoholism. To my mother, brothers and sisters, to whom I survived the monster in my father. Vander Cabellero. I hope I didn't butcher your name. So, boy, huh? Vander's a boy's name. I also have to mention, yeah, I think it's a boy. Yeah, I think this is a boy. So, hmm. I happen to, I don't want to jinx it, but I happen to be getting a good frame rate right now. And recording seems to be very nice so far. I haven't had, I, I have never played this game before. Okay, so right trigger, I'm using the Xbox controller, by the way. Right trigger seems to affect the uh, camera and Left trigger seems to go out here, so there's that. A is jump. Uh, B is nothing. X is nothing. Y is nothing. Right triggers, bumpers do nothing. So, hmm. Looks like we're inside of a town. Ooh. Is that... Oh, okay. Maybe it's just paint. Oh, it seems to be a nice little town. Seems to be... Oh, what's this? Could we go over here somewhere? Oh, jit! Okay, we gonna be doing some parkour? I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought I went into... Wait. Can I, can I switch into first person? Or maybe that's just the trick of the camera. Okay, fine. Oh, crap! Now, if that was a normal kid, your legs would have been busted. Or maybe that's how kids are... I don't know. It's been a while since I've been a kid. <laughs> An old fart like me playing video. Oh, hey, another kid. <clears throat> Holy hell, that's neat. Okay, so that seems to be uh, a mechanic of the game is that you can interact with drawings on the wall to affect the overworld. What's this? So, X, use left stick to pull. Oh, oh, look at that. Release with X. <laughs> oh, this, I for. Now, I have to admit, I seen this game played a while ago, but I haven't retained anything. What the? F uh, oh, okay, fine. Bruh. What do we got here? Okay. So, from what I gather, this is uh, A to B platforming. Is it a platforming? I don't think we're going to be doing much fighting, so I think this was like puzzle solving. Oh, there we go. All right. So, yeah, platforming puzzle. Uh, hey, 
Uh, sure, I'll come over there. Um, how did you get... Whoa, where'd you go? Oh, there they are. They're on top of that roof. Well, at least I think they were on that roof. I looked away for a moment and you disappeared. Oh, there were steps there. This is a very beautiful city. Like, a lot of people would be like, Oh, God, oh, whoa, look at that house up there. Isn't that nice? Oh, okay, this is cute. I have to admit, this is cute. Uh, oh. So you put on the box in order to go with it. I'm a hint box, and I'm here to help. There are also tutorial boxes that will teach you important things to succeed. Little frogs in the box. Uh, remember, look for a hint or tutorial box if you ever find yourself stuck. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Can I get... There we go. All right. So that's the uh, tutorial box. Oh, cock. Oh, well, it ain't too bad. All right. So the ladder was over here. Okay. We'll just climb up this little thing. Also, by the time you're seeing this, um, I will most likely uh, be in the process of uh, moving out of my apartment. Like, right now, I have absolutely nothing inside of my house. But, uh, effectively, uh, you're probably going to be seeing these videos after Broken Sword has finished up. What the hell is this? And, uh... Oh... What the hell is this doing? It's making a bridge. Ooh, hoo hoo. You'll most likely be seeing this after Broken Sword and uh, Don't Starve has finished and uh, me moving out of my uh, house. And that'll be around the 31st. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to process video, like uh, be able to make more content. Because uh, we have yet to find a house to where I'm moving to up north. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I, I, I do I am going to be living with uh, family for a short while. But the sooner I can move into my new house uh, and on my own two feet, the better. But what's this? Ooh, look at that! Okay, I completely forgot about, uh... Wait, did you see that? There's a doll... There's a doll tied to a stake up there. Okay. Hey, what's this? Now, this game has been released on a cross-platform, I believe. So, if you... like, I Now, don't hold me to this, but... It... It... It, uh... Maybe on the PlayStation or the... Uh, I think on the PlayStation, actually. I don't know if it's going to be on the Xbox. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, doll tied to the stake. What's this? I don't think I can get over there. Ah, oh, massive parkour skills. Ah. Uh, Oh, here we go. Um, oh man, I love those houses, how they're built like that. I wouldn't want to live in them, but they are cool. Um, hey, frogs. I want to go up here first. Oh, this is where the kid was. Holy shit! God! God! Um, oh, it revealed a path. Uh, did you happen to see that hole that uh, the house was in front of? Oh, there's that kid. Hey, kid. Now, I can't even tell what that kid's gender is. Like, what the hell is up with the hydrogeny in this game? If You know, I, I should never say that I'm going to be calling episode things because I tend to forget. Oh, if I hold down the left trigger, I run. Or do I just run regardless? I just... So you finally found me! Yeah. Hey. Look at these frogs. I wonder if they're the kind that you lick to get high. Knowing my luck, they're probably just the poisonous ones. Okay. Well, anyways. 
So I gotta get up there. How do I get up there? Hmm, I think I gotta go back. I think that uh, house falling down uh, messed up uh, my pathing. Or maybe it is the... Uh, well, it, it most like... Okay, that's the thing that I found. Alright, let's go inside of here. This place is beautiful, by the way. Like, I wish I could find a cave in real life. That's another thing. How many of you out there actually grew up around caves? I have never been inside of... Like, finding a cave seems insanely rare for me. But if you play a game like Skyrim or... Uh, like... Pfft, hell, nine times out of ten, any game that you've ever played has a cave in it. That or a crate or a barrel. Or a zombie. You could probably think of a million tropes that are inside of every single video game. Like, I bet you that we're going to either see either A, a crate, B, a barrel, or C, a zombie. Knowing this game, we're probably not going to see that many zombies, so we're probably going to see it. Hey, there you are, kid. Okay. Well, this game seems incredibly simple right now. And is more of a visual... Oh my god, did you see that? The uh, frame rate of that uh, thing that was pulled down was pathetic. What is that, a rope? Uh, ooh! Ooh! Oh, I get to pull it all over the place. Look at that, it's making a stairwell. Okay, that's very nice. Look at that, and it's also the picture of the side of the building, and it's being protruded out there. You see what I'm talking about? It used to be a flat surface, but now it's like pulled out and accordioned. And even the glass is like that. Look at that. See? Ah, that's ingenious. That's brilliant. Hey, what happened to the kid? Oh, man. Nobody likes me. They all run away. Is it because I'm... I'm... I'm a school... I, I'm a, a private school. Actually, that kid's quite privileged. Um, like settings like this, where they have private schools, you're doing well. Okay, you're gonna grow up to be a doctor or something, kid. But jeez. All right, kid went in here. Ah, can't go after him. So what do we got over this way? Got a tree, some nice uh, light flares. Then again, a game with too much light flare seems to bother me. Ah, I'm actually very surprised at uh, the capture. Hey, look at this. What is that? It's a bird. Huh. Angry bird. Well, it's more of a... Oh, saving checkpoint. Okay, so it has an automatic saving system. Could I uh, save manually? No, I can't. Well, that ain't good. Wait. Oh, okay. Hey! So, that's a girl? I think that's a girl. My god, that's cool. Now she's thinking with portals. Uh, oh my god, you're gonna love this one. Watch what happens here. Look at that! We're affecting... the house. You see that? Ah, <laughs> oh god, that's brilliant. Uh, we're moving the houses all over the place. I think we might want to readjust this one, but I don't want to look away. You know what? I should have done these ones first, so... Eh. We're the strongest kid alive. I can only imagine what these... Oh, man, I love this. I can only imagine the people who live inside of these houses. They come back from a long day of work, and they're like, Who arranged, rearranged the cardboard boxes? God damn it, how am I supposed to get to my house now? And in all honesty, what the hell's supposed to be keeping these houses up in the air? Don't question the power of imagination. 
All right. And the last house. Bam. All right. Now, looking at the time, we've reached the 15-minute mark. In the, next uh, in the next house, in the next episode, we will cross this bridge of houses and try to meet up with that girl or that boy. Try to find the kid. See you then. Bye.